But to get our boat restoration project started back on the right foot, we're going to make sure we don't repeat the same problems we had in our first location. The update on construction of the boat. Here's the forecast of rain. This is Luke, and I'm Lori. It's a slow motion rescue. And if boat building wasn't challenging enough, we're gonna make a 20 foot tall boat shed for our still sailboat. We're gonna build this thing. All right, keep in mind, we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> but if you wanna see this boat back in the water and not on land, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. Hey guys, we are here. We are getting the wood for our structure here. I think this is it. We're looking for pine. The pine only comes in three meters, so that we're gonna have to uh, create some sort of extension because our, our structure is about six meters tall. So we're getting some of this. I don't know if this is eucalyptus or if this is pine, but this is about the size, 15 centimeters. And then we're gonna get some of these chunks. So we're making the Gothic arc. So let's see. here at the store because we changed out the screws that we bought for um, bolts because we did try to <laughs> economize and use screws but obviously that's not a good idea and we do not suggest that so from experience do not use screws uh, they don't withstand the pressure and the second we started bending the board the screws kind of ripped out we're trying to make the form while we're still in the hangar unfortunately it is very dusty in this hangar so we're gonna have to tough this out boat still here and outside there it's all rock so we're going to try to finish it here because it has a flat ground we can drill into the ground to create our form but we have to suffer with these masks for a while but it's fine we're going to create our example of what the boat size will be like and we're going to do a representation of what all the measurements are on the ground flat so we can figure out what exactly our curve is going to be and how big the structure is going to feel comfortable. In order to do that, we want to create the boat. So the boat is the, the cradle and the boat on the cradle, right? And then we have the davit. So what is this measurement right here? We know that we want to have one meter and a half or one meter and a half up to two meters on either side and then we're going to see what is our ideal height for us standing on the boat so we can create an arc right or if the arc can be further out
And then we're gonna take a little space over here and we're gonna actually drill into the ground to create our form in which we're gonna put blocks of wood so that we can stabilize and create the curves all the same way. We're gonna glue them, put them all together. And then, so when we take them out of this hanger, we can just assemble them up. And once the boat's outside, we can put it all together above the boat. So let's hope this is a good idea. calculation shame. Lumberyard because we were actually having a really nice pace, really nice rhythm, putting everything together. We finished all the screws, we finished all the pieces of wood, and when we did that, we realized that we're only 50% of the way done because we calculated incorrectly what we were doing. Uh, we actually calculated halves instead of the whole, the whole arc. So we had 10 halves done, but we need 10 arcs done. So we came back here to buy some more wood. Um, we went out and we bought more screws as well. And now we're heading back to put it all together. But first we're gonna wait for them to deliver the wood and we're gonna do what we can until they deliver the big pieces. So here we go. And we finished up the top pieces that we had already started out. And we have one complete arc um, that we have besides finished. So it's looking really good now. We figure out a lot of our problems. Before we had kind of like these Mr. Bean mistakes, which no insults to him because he's like a master of what he does, but we were just like messing up everything. Um, like what direction the wood goes, what kind, everything. So we went out and we bought like all the right tools that we needed. We were borrowing some things around here because our toolbox is like on the other side of the river, so it makes it really complicated. But so now we have all the things that we need and everything's going really fast and we have a system. And so this is the way to do it. We figured it out. Um, and now we're feeling a little bit better. So we're trying to get this done as fast as possible, but there's been so much rain. It's been unbelievable. Um, it's like the rainiest season ever or something. So. Now we're trying to capture the, these dry days. This is a place that is covered, so we could technically work during the rain, but this place shuts down because, um, because of the nature of the business here. It's sandblaster and they do painting. They can't really do anything in the rain, so the business shuts down and then we can't get in here anyway. So when it rains, it's super horrible for us, even though it's closed. And this time, sometimes leaks as well, so it's not the greatest structure, but so looking really good so far we're really happy um but we got doubled this today so we gotta get cracking so we wanted to take all this wood with us and we're loading it up onto this truck this truck is going to come with us it's the one that put the boat onto the trailer and actually it's going to be the one to take it off as well so it's coming with us with all of this it is blazing hot in here it is super humid day 
It's probably gonna rain and I hope it doesn't rain on our wedding, so let's go. transported the wood here they grabbed it in one big bunch so it did put a lot of pressure on some of the arcs and they lost their curve so they separated a little bit here where we have our, our little support in the middle so what we're gonna do is we're gonna recurve them and renail them um, reinforce all the nails that we have there so that they maintain their curve and they're not falling apart No idea what we're doing. <laughs> and so we put um we had an extension here on either side. We put a block in here, we nailed on this side. We did this reinforcement. It's cheaper because this is a very temporary structure. We didn't want to like lose too much money on this. So it was cheaper to buy wood planks than it is to buy a big sheet. And we wanted to save some money. Usually when we save money, problems happen, so if we create a video of how the structure fell down, at least it'll be entertaining. Um, so we reinforced this block here in the middle to connect it, and now we're going to put one piece here and one piece here to kind of hold this all together. And we're going to pray to the gods that, that it's going to stand up for a little while. Here we go. little by little as we go as you can see we had five pieces up already because there hasn't been any wind but yesterday came a crazy crazy wind out of nowhere and let me tell you the the tarp was hooked onto this um, this horse here and I can't tell you how heavy this thing is ah, I can't even lift it let me try the end and they said this thing was flying in the air like up in the air because the Lana had picked it up like a parachute so the structure opened up on the bottom like it separated a little bit it didn't break which is amazing they jumped down they had taken off a little bit of the tarp and managed to save everything we're gonna have to do something a little bit more structural in order to keep it sturdy in case any kind of like sudden wind comes this is something I wasn't even thinking about I was thinking that if wind comes or if it gets like we know there's a cyclone coming we just take it off casually and wrap the boat in it and then wait it out but evidently it's going to be something that happens really quickly so we have to think of something is our final arc in 
place. Now let's get everything nailed together and put the side supports on. If you'd like full instructions on how we made our boat shed, visit our blog at lahakai.com.